Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can write a SQL expression in the WHERE clause in an ABAP statement. So suppose first thing I would like to say what is the requirement, okay. So the requirement is uh, I go to SE16, okay, so this is uh, and we have EKB table which is the purchase order history and from here I want to find what are the invoices that have this value which is let me go here settings I'll go to user parameter I'll put the field level okay, this is the here uh, where the GR IR clearing value is more than the local currency value okay okay the GR IR clearing value is more than so how can I date it so generally what you generally do is you have to find out copy Generally, the old formula was copy this value in a table and do a subtraction of all this. What we will do, we are going to do it in one select clause only. How we can do that? Okay. So let me go first. As an as a developer, you need to know the field name. Okay. So the field label is good for the functional. The field name is good for the technical person. Okay. So now I'll go to the command. Uh, this I have already developed. So here is the statement that we have to develop. Okay. So here is the select star from EKB where we will say it is an invoice. So if you notice V gap is two. I want to only check those. And this is the most important thing if you notice. This value minus this value is greater than zero. So you can do all these things here and then you just populate into this table. And then you so let's let's do another flavor you might say oh you you did some caught up things okay so let's make you happy everyone so let's find something else that we can calculate mm -hmm. there is this rew what is this rewr -E so let's go here you saw parameters field label and that's the R E W R is the field, it's the invoice value. So we can say there is the invoice value, and oops, or we can can we find any value where the invoice value is more? Uh, 37, 37. Well, let's find something. Okay, where we will say okay here it was the local currency value. And let's put another clause where we will put the invoice value also. Okay, so let's let's add a caveat to it. So I'll go to settings, user parameter, and I'll go to field label or field name, and I enter. And this is the invoice value is on the right side. There was this value R E E W, and there was any other value we can use. Mm, there's no difference coming so R E E W R. that's good so we'll just add another clause where and to make you all happy R E E W R minus E M I hope it will work is greater than 0 0.00, .00. And this is the thing, and oops, and we will execute. See, and we just execute here. Uh, P condition execute. Okay, so it stops here, and we execute. Nothing comes because there's no data in it, because that value is always so. Let's do one thing we'll just comment it out, and we'll activate it, and we'll execute. We we'll just select this and execute and here you can see this value this value minus this value is something more okay so this is very very important and you can see all these things are very important so from here you will know which are the uh, which are the grir value is more than the actual invoice value so in this way you can find it's very simple the expression if you see you can you can do a lot of calculation lots of times you might say okay Tell me, uh, tell me a case where the uh, there was a price difference or something like that. You can easily calculate from here. 
okay using this expression it's really nice okay so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great day and stay tuned uh, to my channel and if you like it subscribe to